there's many reasons why we chose the word faggot for our band, and I don't think it has the same connotation as the N-word. Um, I find it different. But I think it's also subjective. Um, a friend of mine and I were in San Francisco in 1998, and we were fag bashed, and I was beaten up while he was being murdered at my feet. And the guy who did it screamed, you want a piece of me, faggot, about 100 times. So part of the band faggot for me is reclaiming the word faggot, having been terrorized by the word um, in a very violent situation, and throwing it back out there so that I don't have to ha uh, live with, with uh, the word faggot in, in that sense. Uh, through, through being terrorized or, or victimized by it. Also, as a faggot, uh, I have every right to use that word uh, as much as the N-word is used in the black community uh, in various ways. And I think that that's true there, too. I think they have every right to use that word in any way they choose. Uh, so possibly if um, somebody else used the word faggot, I might have a problem with it. I don't know. This installation is called Faggot the Movie. Uh, which is a little tongue-in-cheek because it's all made with video, but it's set up in a movie uh, fashion on a large screen. And then there's another installation in the back corner that's more of an art movie and a video installation on televisions. And it's a compilation of work done by uh, uh, Bill Carone, who's a local artist who films a lot of bands um, all over, house shows, 7th Street Entry, Triple Rock. He'll go anywhere and film bands. And he started filming our band, Faggot, about three years ago when we started. And at this point in time, he has about 32 hours of tape of all the shows we've done. So we gave those to two St. Paul College of Art students, um, Aki Shibata and Travis Spangler. And they created the montages that we see in this exhibit. Uh, one's a 50 minute loop, the other's a 15 minute loop. And that work is sort of, sort of their vision. When they reviewed the hours and hours of tape, they extrapolated what they liked and created these montages um, that go that also with the sound. Uh, they used the sound from the tapes, though, so the sound is really rough, which is, but that's kind of great in, in the end. It, it's worked out really well. The rest of the installation, uh, this, uh, there's a wall over there that's all of our posters from over the years, all the different shows we've done. And our guitarist put that installation up, so it's a wall of uh, all the shows we did in poster. The work behind me is done by um, a lot of friends of the band and a lot of cans of spray, spray paint. And then Sarah Huff, our bass player, who also makes all of our costumes, um, has a costume display here. And all of the clothes that you'll see in the show are also uh, on our bodies in the videos, because she makes all of our band costumes. Um, and then also some other friends have contributed. There's a pretty fanciful chandelier back there made out of <laughs> pretty much duct tape and foil. So the entire installation is mostly about the, the video footage uh, and what we call the movie, but we decided to go all out and include other components into the show just to make it a little more exciting.